टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द टॉपिक ऑफ बैंकिंग चैप्टर टू ऑफ टेंथ क्लास You have got two types of account: saving account as well as the RD account. RD account is known as the recurring deposit account, which is also known as a cumulative deposit account. We are going to study about only the RD account. in recurring deposit account you deposit money every month in the bank and you are not supposed to withdraw the money the money which you deposit every month is known as the monthly installment and monthly installment is shown with the letter p for a certain period of time you deposit the money in the bank every month and that time period we call it as n that is a number of months for which you have you are depositing the money in the bank suppose you are depositing it for 2 years the number it has to be converted into the number of years as 24 months so n is 24 if you deposit it for 2 years now p is known as the monthly installment and n is the number of months now as you deposit the money in the bank bank is going to give interest on your money deposited and you are going to get that interest it is calculated every month but you are going to get it when your money matures now interest you know the basic formula for the interest is prt upon 100 that is a formula for calculating the interest as you suppose you are depositing 500 in is the monthly installment so in the first month you are going to get interest on 500 second month you are again going to deposit 500 so now your money will become 1000 so then you are going to get interest on 1000 so in this way the interest is calculated every month and that you get after the expiry of your time so in order to find the interest you have to first calculate the principal on which you have to get the interest on an rd account the principal we take it as equivalent principal an equivalent principal the formula for the equivalent principal is p n n plus 1 upon 2 where i have already told you that p is the monthly installment and n is the number of months so in this principle you are going to get interest and the formula for the interest is now equivalent principle which becomes your p r into time at time you are always going to take it as 1 upon 12 as you get interest every month so time is If you convert a month into a year, it is one upon twelve. So you get interest every month. So time always to be taken as one upon twelve. So this becomes P R T and upon hundred. So this is the interest which the bank is going to give you after the expiry of your time. the money which you get after the expiry of your time we call it as the maturity value and the formula for the maturity value is pn plus i pn is the money which you have deposited for 
the period of time for which you have started the deposited the money for your rd and i is the interest which my bank is going to give you so the total money which you get after the expiry of time is known as a maturity value so its formula is pn plus i so there are basically three formulae equivalent principal interest and maturity value it is not that you have to find only the maturity value sometimes you may be asked to find the monthly installment sometimes you may be asked to find in the questions number of months or the time period sometimes you may be asked to find the rate of interest in that case maturity value will be given to you so there are different questions which are based on the rd account sometimes maturity value to be calculated sometimes the monthly installment sometimes the number of months sometimes the rate of interest so you are going to substitute the different letters which are given to you and finally you are going to get the equation in p r or n so i have already given the assignment in the website from there you can see the questions and rest of the questions you can do it from the textbook this is what you have in banking so do the questions take the help of the solved examples and it is the exercise of chapter 2 Okay. Take care.